Good morning, Facebook, or maybe afternoon, depending on where you are exactly. Um, Thirsty Thursday today, and I'm still playing with the time, so again, I don't have booze. I know, like, my little graphic says, you know, with, I don't even know what it says. It just has, like, little beers clinking together, <laughs> but I don't have any beer today. So, because it's 11 a.m. where I am, and I'm just not there yet for a beer, so hopefully you won't hold that against me. So, I'm going to give everybody a few minutes to kind of hop on here, but this one is a little bit different than what I usually do. I still want to keep them short and sweet. Like, my goal with these Thirsty Thursdays is always just short and sweet and uh, helping you get your head around <laughs> what you what you should be spending your time on and what's a waste of your time and stuff like that. But... Like I said, this one's a little bit different, and I'm really freaking excited about it. So, I'm going to get this pulled up on my phone, because sometimes it's easier to see there, and make sure I'm actually live. Um, as you come on, make sure and always say hi. I always want to know that you're here and that you're watching me. So, always say hi. Let me know you're here. Let me get it pulled up. <laughs> it's not showing up yet. Okay, there I am. Yay! Okay, we're live. So, make sure and always say hi when you hop on. Let me know you're here. And I'm going to go ahead and get started because I don't want to waste anybody's time. And I'm really excited about this one today. So, I... Hey, Angie! <laughs> so, the title of this Thirsty Thursday is Why I Can't Help You Save Your Business. And it's something that I've been wanting to talk about for a long time because I get this stuff all the time from people. So really a couple things I want to go over today are like how to really get the most out of a coaching consultant business strategist relationship, <laughs> um, whatever you want to call it, whoever you're working with, how to get the most out of that. Because this is some stuff that I see a lot, not just with my clients, but with, with other people online. So I think it's really, really important to talk about. So First thing first is if you go to me or any other business strategist and consultant, whatever you want to call it, again, if you go in with the mindset that they are going to help you save your business, that, you know, you're struggling and without them, you're just going to end up in the shitter. <laughs> like, this is your last chance, you know. If you have that mentality, you are going to fail. Like, that, that's the end of the story. It is, it is not my job. It is not any other business coaching job, coach's job to save your business. Only you are responsible for that. So what that means is like, I do a lot of shit for my clients. Like I, I don't like to call myself a coach because I, that's not really what I do. Um, there is a little bit of coaching. There's a little bit of consulting. <laughs> there's a whole lot of implementation with my one-on-one -on -one clients. I, I have a lot of done for you services, part of my package, but that being said, though, there's still a whole lot of shit that you are responsible for <laughs> when we work together. And I can't do my part unless you do your part. And I think there's a, a lot of misconception about, about this, especially for someone who has never worked with a coach before or who has never hired a mentor. So has anybody, um, I think Angie's the only one on yet. So like, tell me, have you ever seen the Lego movie? <laughs> and I know this is like a super ridiculous example, but I love that movie. Um, the little guy, I think his name's Emmett is the little main guy. And they're on the, the, this boat and it's, or they're in the water and it's about to, they're about to drown. And so they like try to build a boat and they're on there and he's like, just tell me exactly what to do and exactly how to do it. <laughs> And I feel like I love that example because that is what I see all the time. Like people coming to me and they're like, I don't know what to do. Just tell me what to do and I'll do it. And I'm like, it, it doesn't, unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. Like it just doesn't work that way. So I want to talk about like kind of setting up expectations before you go into a relationship like that and how to actually achieve your goals and get what you want out of it, right? So the first thing <laughs> I, I want to talk about is just that, like setting up expectations and going in with a clear goal in mind. Like, let's say you're working with me or let's say you're working, you know, with a visibility strategist or a, a Facebook ads person, you know, if you go in and you're like, okay, I just want to make 
you know, 20 sales of my thing with the Facebook person or I, I want to make, you know, 10K in sales from this visibility strategist. Like, that's not specific enough of a goal. Like, you, you need to have really, really clear expectations and be really clear about what your goals are. And a good coach or strategist will tell you if that's realistic or not based on where you are. And if they say that it is and it's really not, <laughs> then they're probably not a good person for you to work with, right? So I that's one of my core values as a, as a business owner is transparency. And if, if we're not a good fit, then I'm going to tell you that straight up front. I would rather have no clients. I would rather have no clients than have the wrong clients or clients with the wrong expectations of what it is that I do and how to get the most out of it, right? And I feel like anyone with integrity <laughs> would feel the same way. So being very, very clear about what it is that you're helping to get out of your coaching relationship. I'm just going to use coaching as the word because it's easier than saying coach, strategist, whatever <laughs> the whole time. But and, and a good person that you're working with, that should be the very first thing you do. Like come up with your plan, come up with your goals and figure it out what it is that you're looking to get out of it, right? So... The second thing I want to talk about is being confident in your ability to do your thing, right? So you come to me if you need help with branding and messaging and getting your, you know, getting your voice out there. You come to a visibility strategist if you're, you know, looking to feel more confident online or sorry, I'm not an expert in that, whatever it is that they do, <laughs> you know, and you go to Facebook ads persons for Facebook ads, obvious stuff like that. But if you are not confident in your thing, like if you're not, I am the freaking rock star at what I do. My clients love me. I am an expert. If that's not you, then you're not ready for a coaching relationship. You're ready for like a mindset coaching or something like that, but not for a higher level business strategy. Because, the, and this is what happens like with clients that come to me sometimes. And it really, really strains this relationship because if, you know, for those of you who haven't worked with me one-on-one, <laughs> -on -one, I'm very like, let's get shit done. See my get shit done sign. Like, let's figure out a plan. Let's get it out there. Let's start making freaking money. That That's how I work. So if, if we're going through all this and we're coming up with all these ideas and then you're like, uh, I don't know if I can do that, you know, stuff like that is holding, that's holding you back. You have to get over that in order to work with a consultant at this level or a coach or whatever it is. I said it again, a coach at this level. If you're not, because if you're not ready for it, you're not going to see the results that you want. And you're going to blame the person sometimes <laughs> when in reality, it's about setting those expectations and, and doing it right. So if you're like, and, and that's why I like, I do this and I recommend all my clients do this too. Like pre-screen your people that are coming in. Like I don't get on the phone with anyone until they filled out a, a, a form on my website that asks like really deep questions about them and their business. And like, if they're not ready, I'll just say that. I'm like, you're, you're not quite ready yet for, for something at this level. It's like I said, it's really high level and it goes really deep and we, we do a lot of the stuff. So like, let's use my business. For example, I build your logo and your website and I do all of that stuff for you. I can't do that though. <laughs> if we can't get through the preliminary parts of, of the process and like really digging deep into what it is that makes you awesome and all of that stuff. That's really important in writing that copy for your website. Like I can't write the copy if I can't get it out of you. Does that make sense? So like if you're really wishy-washy about, well, I, I think this is a good idea and I think people might pay for this and I think I can probably do that. I can probably learn how. That's not okay. <laughs> and I might be a dick for saying that. Um, I know a lot of people don't say that online, but that's not okay. Like, you have to be so effing passionate about what you're doing if you want to see results from working with someone at this level. Like, I can't be passionate for you. I just can't. <laughs> like, I can be really excited and I can be really supportive and I can guide you along the way and help you figure out what your goals are and how to meet them. But I can't do the work for you and I can't be passionate for you. At the end of the day, I'm, I'm giving you all these tools and strategies and, and helping you implement them. 
but you still have to do a lot of the work. You're the one that's going out there and getting on the sales calls and you're the one that's writing the posts in Facebook groups or writing your emails or whatever it is. And if that passion and that fire about what you do doesn't come through, then it doesn't matter if you have the best strategy in the world. It doesn't matter if you hire fucking Tony Robbins or whoever, like it's not going to matter if you're not passionate about your thing. Can I get, can I get like a yes or something? Like, make sure you guys are still with me. <laughs> Does that make sense? Um, hope, hopefully that makes sense because that's something that I've been seeing a lot lately. And there, are, I feel like there's two sides of this business entrepreneurship world online. So you have like this group and, and stuff like this and people, you know, the people that I follow do talk about this stuff or like, yes, heart, you hear like, what do they call it? Like heart something businesses or, you know, like passion fueled businesses and like heart centered. That's what I was looking for. You see that stuff a lot in this world. But if you just step a little bit outside of this world, you'll hear, you'll, you'll see what I'm talking about all the time. There's, there's one group that I'm in and it's all about like just online entrepreneurship and everybody in there is like, how can I make $1,000 today? And how can I get, you know, 10,000 new people on my email list by the end of the week? Like, those are not realistic goals. You can't. Or maybe you can, but they're not going to be your ideal clients. They're not going to be the people you actually want to work with. But again, those type of people don't usually care about that. Does that make sense? Like, there's two different types of entrepreneurs. So the ones in those groups are just like, I want to make money. I don't give a shit how. That's not... <laughs> a coach. A coach is probably not right for you then. Like, if you work with a real business coach and, or mentor, you're going to have to be passionate about your thing. You're going to have to care. So some, if, if you're like this other person over here where you're like, I just want to make a shit ton of money. I don't care how. Do one of those like $2,000 courses or something and like get a strategy set up and there are ways to do it. Like I'm not going to say it won't work, but I will say that there, I would not be a happy human <laughs> in that situation. So I, that, that's really all I wanted to say today. Today is not like, like I said, it's not going to be like some go implement this and make more money. But if you are thinking about, you know, ever working with a coach ever, these are things you need to be thinking about. Make sure that you go in with these clear expectations and the understanding that they can't fix it for you. They can't do it for you. You have to, you have to keep that vision and you have to, you know, hold that, keep that passion and, be willing to put yourself out there and, and do the work. So that's all I got for you today. Hopefully, hopefully it made sense to people. I know I was kind of all over the place there, but that's really like the number one, the number one thing to get the most out of any coaching or business relationship is just setting up the right expectations and understanding that you are responsible for you. You are responsible for doing the work and owning your abilities, like going in and be like, well, I, I think it's a good idea. I think I might be able to make money. Not okay. You, ha you have to own it and you have to know, like, and before I hired someone, I like, I don't want to, I don't want to be like, I did this the right way. Cause that sounds like shitty and braggy to me, but for real, like I was a graphic designer at first and that's how I went in. I was like, I am good at graphic design. I know people will pay for this. I know I'm really good at it. I know what sets me apart in terms of graphic design. I'm good at my thing. I'm confident in my thing. I have no idea how the fuck to sell it online. I don't know how to get online. I don't know how to do any, all of this other stuff, but I know that I'm good at my thing. And that's what you have to be confident in. It's okay if you don't know how to set up a website. It's okay if you don't know how to do Facebook ads. It's okay if you've never turned on a fucking computer. That's okay. But you have to be good at your thing, whatever that is. And you can't expect someone else to convince you of your own thing, right? So that's what I wanted to talk about today. That's all I got for you. If you have any questions or anything, let me know. But watch your email. If you're not on my email list, you should be on my email list. And watch your email tomorrow because I, I know a few people in here might know, but I haven't really like publicly announced it yet. That I, I've been talking about a course. I'm going to have a DIY course. There's like a waiting list on my website that I've been really excited about. But as in business, shit changes, and I've decided to completely change my mind, and that's totally okay. And it's going to be even freaking better, and it's launching soon. So 
check out my website if you're if you're curious about it. You can always send me a message too. But what if if you're on my email list, watch for that email tomorrow because it's going to be really good and I'm really excited. So everyone have a great day and I will talk to you soon.